session of wireless communication and networks. Uh, myself, A. Karthik, Astron Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Uh, today, I am going to explain about the introduction to wireless communication and networks. Okay, everyone knows wireless communication. Okay, nowadays we are all are using the wireless communication. Okay, earlier we were having the wired communication, and also nowadays we are using every device with the wireless network. Okay, here you can observe this is the examples of wireless networks. Okay, coming to here, this is a wired network. <coughs> okay, if you are using the wired network, then you need the wires. Okay, then only you can go with the communication between the uh, two devices. Okay, here this is a LAN connection. Okay, this is the wired communication. Okay, in between the transmitter and receiver. Okay, this is a wireless communication and networks. Okay, coming to here, we can see the how the connection is establishment between the all the device through the transmitter. Okay, here this is the medium of communication. The wireless is the medium of communication of the two devices. Okay, that is a sender or receiver. That is a medium. Okay, coming to wired communication, what is the medium? The wired is the medium. Okay, coming to here, this is a wireless is the medium. Okay, here we can transfer the information without any electrical conductor. That means wires. Okay. Without any electric conductors, we can use the or uh, we can transfer the information from one source to another destination. Okay, you can observe here this is a wireless network. Here, this is a connection between the all uh, the devices. Okay, these are the devices we can interfacing. Okay, coming to it is used for the long and short distance. Okay, the so based on the frequency we can use we can connect the devices either long distance or short distance okay we can use the radio frequency or infrared light laser bluetooth okay that is for connection for establishment for the transmitter and receiver okay this is a connection establishment of the through medium of the communication okay here this is a history of the wireless communication okay actually this is used in the IATM JIT that is the photo to phone okay they don't that time only they have used the wireless telephone conversation and also what is the need of wireless communication okay what is the need of wireless communication means here we can communicating the each other each other and sharing sharing the information also nowadays we can share the information from one person to another person and also that the data everything we can share from the one person to another person and also this is mainly used for business deals and also we can use the some medical records by paramedical may it save the life and whenever it is a disaster comes we can also communicate easily to each others okay that is a mainly need of wireless communication okay in disaster also comes we can uh, sharing okay if you if you are used the wired communication at the time of disaster the connection is collapsed okay that destroyed the connection okay coming to this a uh, wireless communication there is no wires in between the uh, devices that's why we can easily communicate the uh, each other of the another persons okay this is our need of wireless communication okay next what are the devices of wireless communication okay what are the devices of wireless communication okay everyone knows nowadays uh, every device is communicating the wireless communication only okay so those are the some of the examples of devices remote controls cellular phones modems walkie talkies and cell, cell uh, satellite phones etc okay these are the device of examples of wireless communication okay these are every function we know everyone knows okay the functionality of the these devices okay how it connecting to the each other and also what is the use of these uh, devices okay how we can uh, connecting the and another device okay those, that is also we can uh, see in the next classes okay here mainly these are the devices of the wireless communication okay you can see the wi-fi okay and the earlier we having the bluetooth and router okay but uh, nowadays we are using the wi-fi okay it is a uh, popular over the past few years okay okay and also it covers the large area network Okay, it covers a large area network and also it comes uh, portable computing device to connect easily to the internet. Okay, you can observe here this is a Wi Fi connection. Okay, it is a Wi Fi connection, it connects the laptop, mobile, or tablet. Okay, easily we can connect it, we can easily uh, transport the one place to another place also. Okay, this is a Wi Fi of the wireless communication. 
okay coming to introduction of the wireless communication means okay nowadays we are having the cdma and also mimo and also wfdm technologies technologies for the wireless communication system and also nowadays we have the different generations okay different generations of the wireless communication system okay that is in the 3g that is third generation that is a 4g the fourth generation of the wireless communication system okay that is also we can discuss in the next slides uh, what is a 3g what is a 4g and also we are entered into the 5g also okay that will also we can discuss okay coming to these are uh, all the technologies okay uh, every technology is increasing enhance the uh, that uh, features of the particular wireless communication it also extensively it come upcoming the fifth generation the wireless communication system and also impact of these technologies what are the technologies we are discussed in cdma and uh, uh, mimo or wfdm technologies these are the uh, some better understanding of the wireless communication system okay coming to here you can see this is a evolution of the wireless communication system okay the earlier we having the 1g and next coming to 2g 2.5G and 3G, 4G. Nowadays we are entering into the 5G also. Okay, these are the rapid changes in, uh, in the generations. Okay, coming to speed of the uh, communication and also medium speed. These are the low speeds. Okay, coming to 1G, it covers low speeds only. The medium speed is this one. Nowadays that is the high speeds 4G data. Okay, coming to in the earlier we have only going with the 1G, 2G. There is a only voice. Okay, we can communicate with the voice only. After the 2G, we can connect with the text also. We can connect with the text. Whenever we entered into the 3G, third generation, we can also use the graphics, the video, images. We can share to another person easily. Okay, and also coming to 4G, this is a high streaming multimedia. That is a video calls also. We can enter into the this communication. Okay, these are the difference between the all the generations. Okay, coming to 1G, we are using only voice. Okay, whenever you enter into 2G, that is a, a text. Okay, we can text to the other person. Uh, in the 3G, uh, we can go with the, some sharing the information of the images or videos or any other data. We can easily share into all the persons. Coming to 4G, this is the high speed of data compared to the all the generations. That is a high data rate. It can occupies the 4G. That is a fourth generation. Okay, these are the evolution of the wireless communication system. Okay, you can observe here whenever the evolution started. Whenever the evolution started, this is a 1G. Okay, this is a 2G. It entered into the 1990s. The 3G entered into the 2000s. 4G is in the 2010, and also 5G. The enhanced mobile broadband wireless for the industry we entered into 2020. Okay, these are the <coughs> evolution of the particular years of the wireless communication enhancements 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G. Okay, whenever we can use the 1G, that is a voice calls, we can connect with the other persons. We can observe this is a analog voice calls and coming to digital voice calls, that is in the 2G, the year of the 1990s. Okay, we can use the text messages or basic data service. Okay, the time then the data transfer rate is a KBs only. Okay, and coming to 3G, that is a entering to 2000, that is a mobile broadband introduction of the smartphones. Okay, here we can introduce the smartphones in the 2000 year, that is with the 3G, 3G network. Okay, coming to 4G network, that is a fast mobile broadband uses internet protocol. Okay, there we can use the more the functionalities of the, the particular internet that is in the 4G. Coming to 5G, we can use the 360 degrees of the uh, connectivity with the through world in the 5G network. These are the evolution of the wireless communication system. Whenever we have to improve the, the wireless connectivity in the with the their network. Okay, this is so, which generation, which technology we are using and also what is the data rate for the wireless communication system. Okay, in the second generation, we are using the two technologies. One is a GSM and another one is a CDMA. Okay, these are the two generations and two technologies. One is a GSM means a global system for mobile and CDM is a core division for multiple access. Okay, with the use of this GSM, we can transfer the data transfer rate is the 10 kbps per hour user. 
okay and coming to cdm also 10 kbps okay those are the two technologies used in the second generation coming to 2.5 gen uh, 5g gen, uh, 2.5 generation okay we have some advancement in the data rate and also improvement of the data rate also in the this 2.5 generation okay here we can use the gprs and also edg the gprs is a general packet radio service the edg is a enhancement data uh, <coughs> for a gsm evaluation here we can use the uh, approximately 50 kbps data rate and also we can use the in this technology that is approximately 200 kbps data rate okay these are the difference between the second generations and uh, different technologies the main is the gsm cdma gprs and also edg those are the technologies used in the second generation coming to uh, third generation we can use the uh, these technologies wcdma and also cdma 2000 and also hsdpa or hsupa and also we can use the another technology evdo okay coming to first third generation we are using a technology wcdma okay the data rate approximately 380 4 kbps per user okay here what is a wcdma means the wideband cdma okay that is a wideband cdma in the second generation also we used cdma okay but here what are the advancement means we are using the wideband cdma that is a data it is a approximately 384 kbps per user coming to next next technology is a cdma 2000 here approximately data rate also same compared to the wcdm but these are the two different technologies in the specifications and coming to 3.5 generation we are using the hsdp and also hsupc here the data rate more increases compared to the all the previous technologies okay the data rate is a 50 to 50 or 30 mbps coming to data rate and the high speed downlink packet access and also we can use the evaluation of the data optimizer that is also same data rate come in the third generation okay coming to here we can use the 4g the technology is lte and also wimax and also we can use the vivo lte also in the fourth generation okay coming to this lte that is a long term evaluation here the data rate is the 100 to 200 mbps and also wimax also it will give the approximately 100 mbps data rate okay these are the data rate in the different technologies coming to second generation third generation and also fourth generation okay here we can see all the evaluation and also all the data rates okay coming to here the evaluation of 5g okay up to now we discuss only 1g 2g and also 3g 4g but coming to 5g network here we can use the unlimited data capacity okay this is launched in the 2020 and also 2019 okay this is a 1979 1980 they introduced the <coughs> 1g we know it uh, that is the unlocked telecommunications coming to 2g we have using the text messages and 3g the mobile and also it connected with the wireless internet connection coming to 4g it uh, it <coughs> sharing the data to cloud also we can store the data into the cloud and coming to the uh, fifth generation that is a uh, unlimited data capacity these are the evolution of the 5g coming to here the principles of estimation used various uh, uh, system such as wireless sensor network cellular networks and uh, memo that is a technology we have used in the third, second generation that is a multiple input and also multiple output and ofdm technologies that is a orthogonal frequency division multiplexing uh, these are the estimation we can use in the wireless communication system okay coming to <coughs> wireless communication mainly it uh, is a computer network that uses wireless data connection between the network nodes okay we can use the one node and from that node we can connect in the all the devices uh, that is a called wireless network the wireless networking is a method we can use in homes telecommunication networks and also business installation uh, mainly here we can uh, compare to the wide communication here this is a very low cost process because in the wide communication we can use the cables okay that uh, including the cable cast and also digging the earth okay that's why compared to a wireless net wire network uh, compared to wireless network this is a very 
uh, less cost compared to the wide network. Okay, the connection process also very easy compared to the wide network. Here we can use the telecommunication networks and generally implemented uh, and uh, so we can use the, some radio communication. Whenever it we can implement these uh, communication network, where uh, the place we need the physical layer of the OSI model network structure. And also some of the examples of wireless communication network, it includes the uh, cell phone networks, wireless local area networks, and also wireless sensor network, satellite communication networks, and uh, nowadays we can use the some microwave networks also. Okay, uh, we need some net. Uh, if you need a wireless communication network, we need the some node. From the node only, we can uh, sharing the information to the all the device. Then only we can interface into the all the device from the, the particular network. Okay, and then, uh, we can everywhere we can use this wireless network, homes or business area or any uh, hospitals. Okay, we can use this every place the wireless communication network. And we need a only administration purpose. We need some <coughs> radio communication using the radio communication. Then we can implement this network structure in the particular area. Okay, you can we can see here uh, what are the how the structure will be going on into the, the particular okay whenever you can call to the, the person what will need for example you need the connection from the uh, you can you need the call from the your friend okay how the system is established how the connection is established okay that purpose we have to know this process okay Okay, here connection is established from the this type of information. Okay, you can see here this is the cellular concept of the, the particular connection between we need the cell. Okay, this is the our geographical area. This is the our geographical area. Okay, here you, you are in the Kashmir, your friend in the Kanyakumari. How the connection is established from the this area to this area? Okay, for that we are uh, divide into the this particular geographical area into different cells okay different cells we can uh, geographical area we can divide it okay like this we can uh, uh, divide the, the particular area then the particular uh, area having the top of particular uh, di different uh, antennas then only we can connection is established from the one person to another person that will also we can see here you can see observe here this is the geographical area that is divided into the different uh, cells. Okay, these are the different cells. Okay, every area uh, divided into hexagonal shape. Okay, in the earlier we are using the circular and also rectangular, triangular. Okay, with the use of circular, then we have the, some overlapping in between the two cells. That's why we are introducing the hexagonal shape. Uh, that will also we can discuss in the next classes how the connection is established from the one cell to another cell. Can observe here this is our shapes here this is a basic geographic area that mm -hmm. can communicate with the shape same thing you can observe where okay, this is a very important one you can see here you can uh, this is a symmetrical shape in the previously we had in it okay this is a circular shape and this is a square shape and this one is the uh, equally triangular hexagonal. Nowadays, we are using this one hexagonal shape only. Okay, if you are using circular shape, what will happen? What will happen? Here, the in between the circular shape, you have the, some overlapping. The area in between the cover to the base station, there is an overlapping. That's why we eliminate this uh, circular shape and also square shape and equally triangular. We are using only hexagonal shape. We are using only hexagonal shape. And also, we can use the connection between the these two shapes in the cluster size. How the cluster cluster is established? The cluster is nothing but that is the uh, group of cells. If the size is not fixed, and also we need the, some requirements of the area. Okay, that's why how the connection between the phone system. Okay, the phone system means here we having the different towers. Okay, this is a base station one, two, three. Like this, we having the base stations. Okay, the connection, how the connection is established from the one mobile to another mobile, this mobile to this mobile, how the connection is established. Okay, for that we are having the mobile switching station and also we are having the BTS and also BSC. Okay, from the first, first of all we need mobile station, whenever you 
pick up the call from the another person the the person will trying to call to you then that the signal goes to the bts from the bts to again bsc that is a base station controller from the bsc to next bts the connection is established to the bts to msc also from this is a one one end this is a one end from your mobile station coming to another end what will happen from another end also from one msc to another msc okay from msc to bsc and from bsc to bts the finally it reaches to your mobile station okay this is a process uh, we can uh, having that uh, connection between the mobile stations what will happen here the channel okay the channel is established we having the different channels one is a channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 and channel 5 okay what will happen here okay here you can see here dif different channels are there okay different channels that is a channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 and channel 5 okay if you are sometimes you are trying calling from from one number to another person what will happen if it is a channel free only it connected easily but if you are channel not free that means the channels are occupied with the user p and q r s t okay like that is all occupied then what will happen that user call cannot be completed like this indication uh, you can listen from the your mobile otherwise uh, the network is busy okay whenever the channel is free then only you can connect to the your subscriber okay if it is not free means we can unable to connecting the one person to another person this is in the mobile communication system okay like this we can uh, go with the uh, mobile communication established from one user to another user okay you can see here this is a frequency reuse okay this is a cluster size okay this is a cluster okay we are having the 4 7 okay we are having the four cell cluster and also seven cell cluster what will happen four cell four cell cluster and seven cell cluster this is the standard cluster size the seven cell cluster is a standard cluster size okay you can use this is a seven cell cluster okay every cell having the their own base station every cell having the the own base station like this uh, we can divide into the, the ge total geographic area like this we can divide into the total geographic area every uh, cell having the their own base station then only it can connect you from this cell station to this base station okay like this will happen in the uh, cellular communication the next one is a hand off next one is a hand off what is a hand off okay this is a briefly explain about the hand off technology you can observe here this is a one hexagonal shape and this is a another hexagonal shape okay here we having the two hexagonal shapes okay what will happen whenever the traveling from area a to area b you can observe okay you are you are in traveling from one uh, village to another village what will happen whenever it reaches the it reaches the border whenever you reaches this border your signal will drop okay you were signal will drop okay again the signal carries to the this area b okay from area a to and area b this in uh, whenever it reaches the circle okay that border we can uh, the signal will decrease okay this is the without hand off procedure okay if you are using the hand off procedure what will happen whenever you uh, traveling from area a to area b okay this base station to this base station okay with the hand of procedure whenever you are uh, traveling from the this area a to area b it hold the signal it hold the signal and also hand over to the this area b it hand over to the area b this is in the hand of procedure if you are go with the without hand of procedure what will happen here whenever you reaches this area okay the signal will drop the signal will drop okay whenever we using the hand of procedure what will happen if the signal will hand over to the the particular base station also then there is no loss of the signal okay then automatically it continues the area a to area b there is no signal drop okay without uh, with the hand of procedure that's why we can go with the hand of procedure that is in the area a to area b this is also one technology in the wireless communication networks that we will we can discuss in briefly in the next session also 
okay coming to wireless networks here we can use the different wireless networks okay now up to now we discuss about the what are the wireless communication networks what are the devices what are the generation of the wireless communication system and also how the connection is established from the one person to another person okay that is about the wireless communication next coming to wireless networks what is a wireless network the first professional wireless network have was developed under the broadband uh, brand aloha net in 1969 Okay, the University of Hawaii, and also it can go go with the it operation from the 1971. Okay, coming to here, the the first commercial wireless network was a uh, that is a wave LAN. Okay, this is Aloha Net is a brand you can they can introduce in 1916, but it is operation from the 1971. But the commercial wireless network it is developed in the 1986 by the NCR. Okay, there we can use the 1973 Ethernet eight uh, eight na. Right now, two point three. Coming to nineteen ninety one, that is our two G cell network. Coming to uh, June nineteen ninety seven, there we are using the right now two point one one. That is a Wi Fi protocol. That is a first is a from the I T B. And also coming to nineteen ninety nine, there we are using the V O I P integration. Okay, these are the different networks in the wireless. Okay, these are in nineteen seventy three. We are they are introduced the Ethernet right now two point three. Coming to 1991, uh, 2G cell network. 1997, there is a Yetna 2.11, that is a Wi-Fi protocol. Coming to the last one is the 1991, that that is the Yetna the Yetna 3.11 Vivo IP integration. Okay, in this mainly that is a uh, solving the problem of the spectral conjunction and also user capacity with the use of the cellular concept, the different uh, wireless networks. We can use this uh, some. Uh, calls for replacing the signal and also we can use the high power transmitter whenever we go with the large cell and also with the small cell whenever you go with the large cell they need the high power transmitter whenever you go with the low uh, low trans low power transmitter that, that is a small cells and also both the large uh, cells and also small cell providing the coverage to only a small portion of the service area okay the wireless communication it covers only long distance and also it covers the short distance the based on the frequency it can covers the the particular area of the network coming to here uh, what is the wireless communication involvement in the transmitting data from one place to another place okay we know it without the help of a wires and also cables any other forms electrical conductors we can share in the information from one In distance to another distance. A uh, wireless communication is a broad term that is uh, incorporates all the processors and it will take the signals through wireless communication technologies and also device. Okay, we need the device for the establishing the connection between the nodes. Okay, here we have the node. From the node only we can connecting the all the devices to the wireless. Okay, this is a A, A device, B, C, D, and also E device. Okay, we can uh, take in the all the devices through this particular node. From that, we can transferring the information from node to device and device to node. Then only we can easily share the information to all the devices. And coming to features of evaluation of uh, wireless communication, uh, examples we know it the radio wireless technology uh, includes GPS units, the garage doors openers, uh, wireless computer mic. And keyboards, headsets, headphones, uh, radio receivers, satellite uh, television, broadcast television, and also cordless telephones. These are the uh, examples of application of the radio wireless technology. And also, we can use it for cell phone telephony and uh, wireless access to the internet, uh, wireless home networking, and also so on. We can use this connection between the uh, the devices, the transmitter distance, and also we can go with the, for example, the television uh, remote control, and also it go with the thousands of kilometer for. Radio communication. Okay, then if you need short distance, short and also long distance. Okay, you can observe that is a connection between the between few meters. Few meters mean we can use the uh, television remote. That is also wireless device. The remote also the TV remote also wireless device. Uh, you can uh, taking the few meters of uh, communication. If you go with the long thousands of kilometer distance, uh, we can use the radio communication. Okay, then only we can share the information to uh, one device to another device. Okay, this is a short distance and this is so long distance. Okay, coming to what are the advantages of the wireless communication network? It is the cost effectiveness compared to the wide network. What is the cost effectiveness in the 
uh, while uh, why it is in the cost effectiveness in the wireless communication means if you are go with the wide network they need some physical infrastructure they need it need some physical infrastructure wide network and coming to wireless network there is no infrastructure directly we can uh, install the network into the uh, your home okay the wireless communication has several uh, advantages the cost of effectiveness flexibility uh, convenience speed accessibility and also constant connectivity constant connectivity also will be there okay once you can observe the flexibility flexibility means you can uh, uh, take uh, you can if you go with the wireless network what will happen you, if you are in the one room okay you can also go with the another room which is connection is a connectivity is there constant connectivity if you go with the wide network that wire also we can take up the from one place to another place okay that is not flexibility compared to the uh, wireless network uh, convenience also is good in the wireless communication network and also speed is uh, high compared to the wide network and also accessibility also is a better than the wide communication and the constant connectivity will be there in the wireless communication compared to the wide communication okay this is a uh, examples of the cost effectiveness it providing the wireless communication service uh, does not incur the lot of cost and also result it is able to uh, charge cheap and also it regards to customer fees that's why we go with the wireless communication communication network but sometimes uh, the provide communication network is a physical infrastructure also need and also maintenance is so high compared to the wireless communication network okay here we can use the flexibility uh, uh, this is also we discussed uh, just now what is the flexibility compared to the outback and can relay satellite uh, phones and also call their uh, person uh, their your friends then what will happen it help to improve their welfare by keeping them touching the people who can the most them and then that is a flexibility there is no, there is no disturbance there is no uh, problem occur from the uh, sharing the information from one person to another person okay convenience also good compared to the wide communication this is speed coming to uh, term of the speed what will happen it is a wireless remote it can also operate a system faster than the uh, wide network we know it everyone knows this one the wireless control of the ma machine can easily stop uh, it's working and also something uh, goes wrong there is a direct operation cannot act as a fast for example if you go with the wide network what will happen the main server is collapsed means uh, the total uh, network is destroyed okay, coming to wireless network means the particular device only failure of the the uh, share in information from one device to another device okay the remaining entire the, uh, there is no entire network collapse so only one device only one device only will disturb okay that is a fact of the uh, coming to fire wide network and also wireless network okay this is uh, accessibility also is good compared to the wide network there is no longer need to the travel far uh, areas to their listen then we can go with the live streaming okay nowadays we are using the zoom classes and the google classes there we can use this uh, uh, live streaming that's accessibility also good that's why we can go with the wireless communication network and this is a constant connectivity okay next we can go with the difference between the wide network and also wireless okay. network uh, these are the specification and also the what is the difference in the wide network and also wireless network what will happen the speed of operation the higher but coming to here the lower lower compared to the wide network but what is the reason advanced wireless technologies such as lte lta and wireless lan will take a possible to achieve speed or equal into the wire network coming to system bandwidth is high in the wire network coming to here there is low, low frequency spectrum is scarce as a resource coming to cost less as cable are not expensive but more as a wireless subscription station we can we need the wireless routers wireless access points and also we need the some adapters in the wireless network coming to installation okay coming to installation in the wire network we need some requirements compared to the uh, wireless network in the coming to here we can easily install in the right time okay and also mobility the limited as it is operates the area covered by the connected systems uh, with the wire network okay here you can use the not limited mobility not limited we can connect to the all the persons at a time also but if we need in the wire wire network if you are connecting one person to another person they need the connect connection okay the wired connection but here we can uh, easily uh, 
enter into the, the particular wireless network coverage area. Coming to transmission media, that is a channel. What is a channel? Copper wires, optical fiber cables, Ethernet. This is for the medium for the EU wide network. And coming to here, the wireless network, where they're using the electromagnetic waves or radio waves are infrared. Okay, then we can use the transmission media. Okay, like this, we can go with the uh, transmission medium. These are the specification for the uh, wired communication and wireless network. And also we can see the network coverage extension. Okay, in the coming to wide network, it requires hubs and switches for the network coverage limited extension. Coming to wireless network, more area is covered by the wireless base station, which is which are connected to one uh, to another one. Okay, coming to applications, uh, LAN, local area network, and also MAN. Coming to here, wireless network, uh, wireless LANs, wireless PANs, that is uh, including to the GB and also Bluetooth. The infrared cellulars are GSM, CDMA, LTE. Coming to channel interference and signal power loss. Okay, in the wired network, what will happen? The interference is less as a one wired network will be not affected to the other. Okay, if you go with the wireless network, what will happen? This is the interference higher due to obstacles between the wired transmitter and receiver examples. Weather conditions, reflection from walls, that is also in the some channel interference is high compared to the this one. Why it is channel interference is high? Means if you are traveling from the signals from transmitter to receiver, what will happen? In between, we are having the hills or buildings, etc. Okay, whenever it touches the building, what will happen? The signal will strength is very less. Okay, okay, the signal will just destroy. Then again, it travels to the this receiver. What will happen? The signal strength is very uh, less compared to the wide network. Okay, that, uh, that the signal strength also will decrease. Okay, the distance will increase, the signal strength will decrease. Okay, that's why here we have the interference is high compared to the wide network. Uh, these are the specification of the wireless and wireless networks. Okay, you can observe mainly the speed of operations and also system bandwidth, cost, installation, mobility, uh, transmission media, and network coverage extension and application. These are the very, very important for the difference between the wired communication and wireless communication. Okay, uh, if you need any connection in the wireless communication, it is uh, very easy to install the connection in your, in your home or any business area. But coming to wired network, coming to wired network, what will happen? If you need the connection in your home, you need, need the some cable installation and also digging the earth and also manpower also is required for the installation of the wired communication. Okay, but uh, the security is uh, uh, is more in the wired wired network only. Okay, because this a wireless network is having the same only to traveling the waves in the air. There is no security in between the wired communication and wireless communication okay these are the specification and also we can see the these are the main advantages of the wireless communication network that is the cost effectiveness flexibility convenience and speed accessibility and constant connectivity okay we are using these advantages in the wireless communication and then only you can understand easily if there is no physical structure in the wireless communication if you are going with the wired communication they need the physical structure Okay, in the next classes, we can go with the, some uh, frequency reuse and also hand of procedure and also we can use the channel assessment, assessment strategies or uh, how the connection is established in the uh, one air, one local area network into the another local area network. Okay, that will also be discussed in the next classes. Okay, these are the specifications and coming to quality of service, it is a better network the wide network and coming to wireless network is up poor due to the high value of the dealer in the connection setup. Coming to reliability is a high compared to the wireless uh, communication. Uh, coming to here, responsibility is high. The, this is due to failure of meter or will affect to the entire network. Okay, this is a reliability is a high responsibility and to a very high compared to the wide network. Okay, in the next session we can go with the frequency use concept. Okay, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.